today is our walk that you can follow for the kilt walk. Yay! Kilt walk is in April over a weekend. And some of us are shielding and some of us can't do the walk for all sorts of reasons. So if you want to do a kilt walk and listen to the puppers, <laughs> they're so noisy telling all their friends that they're out. I know we're going on a walk and we're going on the kilt walk. They are so excited. So I'll say that again hopefully when they quiet and down. We're doing a kilt walk for Fairview School Perth. Anyone who wants to donate um, will have something in the comments, a link in the comments for you to donate to Fairview School Perth. I think we're all looking for iPads for the children. It's an additional needs school uh, with pupils with complex needs. So absolutely fantastic school. And if you want to donate, please, please donate. Um, now today's kilt walk, we'll be going through our usual haunts. Um, we've taken the phone so you get it all in one video. The action camera only does 15 minutes at a time. So it means you have three or four videos. So we thought we'll do it all in one video. How wonderful is this? Our woods are beginning to look greener. Look at the buds coming up and the sun. That's so lovely. Absolutely lovely to see. Come on Cosmo, what are you doing? Come on. Now I think it's been a while since we've seen how the brown bench is doing over the brown bridge. So that is usually one of our places to go. Now, if you wonder why the dogs are going up and down this hill, and they don't normally go up and down that slope, they go up and down this slope. It is because some people were egg rolling so they rolled eggs for Easter down there, but some of them left their eggs, hence the dogs hunting for eggs. Always on the hunt for food. <laughs> right, I think we'll go down here, past the wild garlic. <laughs> There's Scout, he's got a smell of garlic all day today. <laughs> we love this garlic, but we can't eat this particular one because as you can guess, dogs run around in it. Not probably going to be the tastiest garlic. <laughs> Bit of well garlic cut up through some pasta. Lovely. Now we're going to, we're going to, oh. Hello. Hiya. We are going to find our path, just trying to avoid getting children and some people on the camera who maybe don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> um, right, our first look is here at our barn. This is not the barn that we've been puddle walking in or paddle walking in. This is the barn that we see most of the time on our walks. Now it is very, very low. Not sure what that tells us, except there's not much movement. So I suspect, what do you think? Yes, I think the River Tea is probably still going quite fast. So it's probably not letting it in. But something else must be happening further upstream for it not to even come here. Lots of burns and streams run into each other to then go into the River Tay. So I might have to investigate what's happening at the other end someday. 
just look how green it feels compared to other walks recently. This tree has started to have some leaves come out. Definitely changes how the walk looks. Now it is around midday, so the sun is above us. So this is not the best time to work out our north, south, east, west compass points. Because if you didn't know where they were, the sun's not going to help us because it's not rising and it's not setting to give us a clue. Is it rises in the east and sets in the west? But we know the east is over there. So we're going to walk towards the east in a minute once we turn this corner and find the brown bridge over our barn and have a look at what's happening with our bench. I think we might even be able to have a sit down today because it looks dry. Oh, where's Cosmo? Hi Cosmo! Oh, there's my shadow. Hello. It is quite cold today when we're recording this. We're not recording it on the day because we want people to know about it in advance so that they can have everything planned and ready for the kilt walk days. So if it's similar well or great, if not and it's hot then pretend I'm wearing my shorts and my wellies. But today's quite cold and windy. You can see the sky is quite grey. But it's also quite bright in places as well. Very confused weather today. Both dogs haven't been down this way for a little while, at least a couple of days. So they like to have good sniffs to see which of their friends have. Yes, we're going to the Brown Bridge, which of their friends have been here. Oh, look at the pupper, just waiting on us. Here is our brown bridge. You can just about see the River Tay above, but we're going to have a look at the, our barn. It's moving a tiny bit, but I think that's more the wind. Looks quite pretty though. This side, oh look, it's all blocked here with all the debris that's come down. From all the bits of trees. Here is our bench and before we sit down on our lovely bench Oh look, it is sit down day. Yeah, we've not been able to sit down for ages. We are going to have a look at the River Tay. It's not too bad today. Yesterday it was really It's still quite wide. That's us looking up north towards the pipe. I think we might go there. What do you think? Yes, we'll have a sit down first and then we'll go up to the pipe to see if we can see it today. And down here, there's Cosmo having a little snifter. And that bit over there is just over there is where the barn meets the River Tay. You'll remember that from one of our other videos. Let's have a sit for the first time in ages on our bench. And then 
we can have a turn around and have a look at the River Tea and the puppers having their snifters. <coughs> I know! You have to say hello! <coughs> yes! Cosmo, you're sitting beside Cosmo. Can you remember how old Cosmo is? likes the odd sit down. Scout sat down for a whole two seconds and is going up and down the banking looking at everything he can. There he is. He'll be back in a minute to check on us once he's had a good snifter around. Oh he's having a really good look. <laughs> we'll get him in a minute when he comes back. We'll just give Cosmo a little pat. Hello Cosmo. Oh, we have some people here. Hello, we're doing filming for people who are shielding. If you want to say hello. I'm a shielder. <laughs> and you're a shielder. Well, if you go on my channel, Carol's Time Out in Nature on YouTube, this will be the walk that will become our kill walk. Oh, that's perfect. I'll have a look into that. <laughs> no nice problem. To meet you. Take care. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> That's Cosmo. <laughs> Bye. So we have another new viewer, so that will be lovely. I know Cosmo. Is there more people coming? Yes, there's a child coming. But we won't video the child without mummy and daddy. So we'll look over here. I know. Cosmo loves playing with children, but not all children like dogs, so we'll never share. Have you seen Scout for a while? I haven't seen him. Shall we have a look? Let's have a look. See if we can find Scout. We can hear Cosmo. Here and he wants to play. If you want to wave to the camera, we're doing a video for people shielding. <laughs> come on, come on, wave to the camera. camera. <laughs> he doesn't have to, it's okay if you don't want to wave. <laughs> come on, Cosmo. Yeah. Oh, there's Scout. Scout was looking for them. Yay, we've got everyone. Now, I've just got up and we're going to walk towards the pipe. <gasps> we haven't been there for ages. It has been quite wet and floody again. So we have to work out when we can get down to the pipe and when we can't. When it gets a little bit warmer, we might go back in the barn. I hope once the water gets low enough, we'll do another burn walking session see if we can find some friends to pop in with us then we can all go together if not I'll go with the puppers and my wellies and you'll come along with us too and I'll do it from the river Tay right up to the waterfall today it's walking along the river Tay The sky's a little bit blue and grey, you can see it reflected in the water. We're walking along the River Tee and we are just enjoying the peace and quiet. So I'll leave you for a few minutes without saying anything.
we're now going down a slope. Can you remember the witches or wizards hut up there? That's on the path, it's our shortcut to the river. <clears throat> we're not going up there, we're going along the riverside, down the gnarly paths along here. Being overtaken by Cosmo. He waits on us and then overtakes us again. Scout's thinking about a dip in the water. Ho ho, it'd be a bit cold today. Tell I got my warm gloves on or my warm mitts. Holding a camera can get quite cold in the wind. I don't know if you can hear the wind on the microphone on the camera, but it is pretty windy. You can see that from the top of the water, the wind blowing on the top. It makes a nice pattern though. Oh, shall we go on the up walk or the down walk? Oh, we're feeling adventurous, are we? So we're going up. Yes. And a jump down. Boop. Here we go. This is quite a bumpy up and down path, but it means that we, that's one of our paths along up there, but this path is along beside the river and it's a really lovely walk. Do you remember that schoon over there? All over there is schoon. Wow, we have some daffodils that survived that windy weather we've been having. They look so pretty. Let's get on with our walk. The Kilt Walk for Fairview School 2021. This is one of our favourite daily walks with the puppers. If it's warm, they go into the water. If it's not, they still go into the water. <laughs> I usually try and keep them out of it when it's not warm, but dogs will try to sneak in when they can. But that's dogs, that's not me. Humans need to be more responsible. I think there's been lots of their friends gone along here. Both dogs haven't stopped sniffing the whole time. Oh, can you see the pipe? <clears throat> yes, there it is just in the middle of the picture. That line all along here. Can't really walk on it today as it's still got water on it and it looks like it's still going very fast. That's a shame, maybe another day. over the top of the pipe. Let's have a closer look. Other days it's been faster but even today that's still pretty fast. 
considering it's probably 10 times how faster than it actually looks. This scout trying to have a good look but even he doesn't go that far. Do you remember just about here when it was snow and ice scout walked on it thinking it was land and nearly ended up in the water silly dog. tree root time. We don't want to break our ankles so we have to concentrate. Oh wow it is really gnarly today. I think the recent floodings made it even more gnarly. It's taken all the soil away. Oh there we go. Right, this is the point in the River Tay where we come into the Shocky Burn, which is the burn that we've been doing our burn walking on. So it's a bit too high today, but as soon as we can and it's low enough, we will be walking from here right up the Shocky Burn to the waterfall and we will be filming it with you. That will be so much fun. Oh, we haven't done this for a while. Shall we count the steps? Yes! Let's count the steps. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. I know we're nearly at the top. Oh. Twelve. Oh. Thank you for that. Oh. Congratulations, Cosmo. Oh, that was good. Let's turn around and see where we've been. That's the canoe steps for all the canoeists to come up and down. Yes, I know, we're going this way. I've got a touch of the sniffles today for some reason. There we go. Now, Cosme has told me that he fancies going along this way. So we're going to go along this way. It's all part, we do lots of bits of walks, or whole walks. We mix up the walks and we do a bit of one walk and a bit of another walk. All to keep things very interesting for the puppers. There's Scout all ahead, scouting ahead for us, checking if there are any people. The light keeps changing here with the tree cover. Just try and make sure that you can see everything. Oh, did you see where Scout went? Can you see him? Oh, he'll come back in a minute to show us where he wants us to go. <gasps> Could you see him? Oh, we can't get in close enough. Let's go. There we go. Do you remember where that goes? He's saying, oh, come on, Mum. 
Let's go. Can you remember where you go? Yes, that leads to the waterfall. <laughs> There's Scout waiting on us going, yes, we're going this way. Now, we won't be going in today because I don't have my wellies on. But it's also very cold. So we're going to walk. Can you see all of that light bit of wood? That is not an accident. That is the beavers. There are lots of beavers that live along here and they cut up the wood and they make dams out of the wood to block water and make it go where they want it to. So we can keep our eyes open and have a look for bits of trees that have been gnawed at by the beavers. Let's see if we can find any more. Oh, look, there's a big one in the distance there. Can you see that light one there? That has been eaten by the beavers. Let's see, or gnawed at. Let's see if we can get a closer look of it. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. Wow. That is some gnawing. That is some gnawing over there. Goodness me. Oh, look at these little daffodils that Cosmos found. Just sitting next to the leaf, getting a lovely view of the Shockey Burn. Was there any chance you can move? <laughs> now, if we want gnarly paths, I think we've got one here. Definitely need to think where my feet are going. Try this bit. Yes, we've got it. There we are. Oh, look at that. Just spotted that. Can you see that? That is beaver work, that is. Definitely beaver work all down there. They've had to go in a couple of bits, but they've not fancied them. Oh, Scout, are you going in for a paddle? No, he doesn't fancy that bit. Let's go on. There's lots of old fallen trees here that are just beginning to rot away. But it looks really nice, the textures. And we're going under one of the branches. Duck your head! Woo! Yay, we made it. Oh, the greenery is coming out here too. That's lovely. Do you remember I said it looks all woody? And then as soon as the green comes through, you might not see as much wood. So we'll look at this as the season goes on and all the greenery comes out. Oh, find some beaver stuff. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Across the burn just over there. Can you see that light patch? I think that's as big as I can make it because it's quite far away. So they work on both parts and sides of the river or the burn. The shocky burn. I don't know why it's called that. Maybe I'll find out why sometime. Oh, are you ready? This is going to cause a wee bit of a run because it's quite steep. Woo. We'll go after three. One, two, three. Woo. Woo. <sighs> wow, that was steep. <sighs> Just catch your breath back. <sighs> Our first glimpse at the beginning of the waterfall. You can see all the water that's come off it there, still at full speed. You might be able to hear it soon. 
if you could, maybe you can hear it now. Oh, Scout has found a stick and he's gone to hide it because for some reason he still thinks I want all his sticks. He's going to have a little gnaw at that for a little while. We'll move on and he'll probably grab it. Oh, that was a bit dizzy. Let's go back and do it slower so you don't get dizzy. There we are. Oh, look at that. Looks so pretty. Now we know Scout always likes to be at the front of the pack because he sees me as part of his pack. Ah, there he is with his big stick. How he can carry that in his mouth, I do not know. We're getting our first glimpse of the waterfall. Oh, it's good. There's not too much water there today. But I don't think we'll be able to get down too far. We can have a little look though. Cosmos found a football. We found a rugby ball the other day in today's football day. lost interest in that now. Uh-oh, guess who found a tennis ball? Cosmo did. Oh, that's why he's so happy. I don't think he could get the football in his mouth, but he can certainly get a tennis ball in his mouth. It's probably one of his tennis balls. Are you taking us back out, Scout? Okay, you lead us out and I'll have some pictures of the barn for everyone to see. to lead us out, show us where to go. We're going to go out a slightly different way today. Oh look at these plants. They're really odd little plants aren't they? They've got little little flowers and they are everywhere. I wonder what they are. Oh, 
Cosmo just stopped in front of me there. That's why the camera moved and jolted. He does like a good stopping now and again, doesn't he? Oops! Think we're going to have to duck again. Are you getting ready? One, two, three, duck! And oh, there we go. We're out. This bit is a little bit muddier, but it's a bit flatter than the way we came in. If you remember, this walk is for the kilt walk this year, 2021. If you don't want this one, we did one last year, you can look it up if you fancy that one instead. Um, but this is 2021 kilt walk for Fairview School. If you fancy donating, there'll be a link in the comments coming soon. I know. Oh, that's a bit obvious. Scout's missed a stick. Oh, he must be keen to get something to eat. After a walk, the dogs get their dinners. I think they have enjoyed their walk. Have you enjoyed your walk? I hope so. I have. I think what we'll do now is we'll turn the camera around and we're going to say bye. Hope you enjoyed our kilt walk for 2021 for Fairview School. See you next time. Bye Cosmo and bye Scout. See you next time.